So let's start by identifying an area of your life that you might be feeling a little stuck. Maybe you're struggling with, maybe you're uncertain on how to proceed or to actually make it come to fruition. Just take a few moments here, hit the pause button. Um, that'll be your control throughout this video. Hit the pause button and use the tool that, um, that we've provided for you. Download that if you haven't, hit pause now and do that. And um, you know, think of an area that you would really like to focus on. It could be personal, it can be professional, it doesn't matter. So let's, let's get started here and um, let's get clear about what is actually going on. And one of the best ways to do that, and you'll see on the tool that we have two columns. In one column we have facts and the other column we have story. Now, <laughs> on the facts, please go ahead and list, you know, just the facts as you know them about the situation or the area in which you're dealing with. For example, um, when I'm going to use a personal example, uh, an area, um, trying to help my husband and his siblings uh, move their parents to assisted living. That's, that's an area that we're struggling with right now. So as I start to think about the facts, what are the facts? My in-laws are both in their 90s. They're no, they no longer are fully independent. They can't drive. We've had doctors tell us that they shouldn't be alone anymore. And they are having frequent uh, requests of the local services, the 911 here in the States. So um, that's the facts. It's kind of like just the facts, ma'am, just the facts. Now, hit pause here and make sure that you take the time to list the facts for your scenario. Great. Now, let's go to the other column. Let's go to the story column. When we think about the story, um, when we mean by story are, these are the thoughts we have about those facts. These are the opinions we have about those facts. And it's what we're making those facts mean. So for example, I'll stay in my scenario with my in-laws. Um, one thing, my story is that they're gonna burn their house down because they're not, they're not alert anymore and they could leave something on the stove. Um, that maybe they are, um, you know, it's causing more stress for everybody because we're all worried about them. They're not eating as, you know, as well as they should, or things aren't as clean or as cleanly as we'd like them to be. So these are the stories that I'm making up about the facts. So again, hit pause and make sure you take the time and think about the story and, and bullet these out for yourself. Now, how do you know if it's a fact or you're making something up and it's the story? Well, it's a couple things. First, if it's a fact, <laughs> ask yourself, is it verifiable? Is it observable? I mean, I can actually prove that this is true. If it's a story, you know, you know you're in the story side when you can ask yourself things like, well, am I embellishing it? Am I putting a future worry out there? Is it my opinion? And that's how you can separate the two, the fact from the story, is by looking at it just like that. So when we separate the two, what starts to happen is we start to actually get clearer. You know, we can actually start to pull some of that worry away and start to see the situation for what it's worth. Now, do take a look at these two columns. Once you've completed both columns, come back and take a look at the two columns. I'm pretty sure the story side is going to be riddled with excuses or worry or concern. Um, it's probably going to be very fear-based and it's definitely not going to feel very inspiring when you look at that. So when, now that we pulled that stuff out of our mind, what we want to do is hit pause and I don't mean just hit pause on the bullet on, on the recording here. I actually want us to pause and breathe. So we're going to take three deep breaths here. And keep doing that. A 
And what we're going to do right now is we're going to re-engage with our hopes, with our desires, with the intended outcomes that we want to see happen, not the fear of what we think might happen. So what do we want to see as a result? For example, in my scenario, I just want to see my in-laws mm, having the highest quality of life possible for the rest of their lives, whatever that really looks like. So now go ahead on with your list and what do you, what hope do you have? Look at your list. What hope do you have? What desire do you want? What would you love to see occur in this area right now? Let it just emerge. Hopefully you're feeling a little better because once you can give up the worry, you can allow possibility to creep back in and that's what we want. So we need help with the clarity to, point, to focus out that we don't want to be focused on what we don't want, what we don't want to have happen. If we put our focus on what we don't want, we have a much higher likelihood of that occurring because where we're putting our focus is where we're actually going to be putting our attention. So if I tie it back to my original story, when I was telling you about uh, the boss that I had worked for, you know, what was he focused on? He was 100% focused on what he didn't want to have happen. He was 100% focused on us missing our numbers. The facts are the facts. We were, we were behind target. We were dealing with some, you know, product issues. All those things were, were, were happening. But when we, when we can pull it back to gain some clarity, we can ask ourselves the, you know, kind of questions like a two year, like a two year old would ask, why, 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 why do I want the results that I want to have happen? What impact would I really love to have? Why do I want to have that impact? What difference would it make for me, for my company, for my team, for my family, for my community? We want to ask those why questions because that will help us get reconnected to the true source of inspiration that we, why we even care about this in the first place. So once we get to this place and we're reconnecting to our inspiration, now we're ready to ask ourselves a couple of questions. And this is back to the tool. So if you, you put it aside, grab it again. The first question I'd like you to ask is, what can I start doing to support the outcome I want? What can I start doing today to support the outcome I want? Now you're just brainstorming, you're not committing to anything. And remember to hit pause so that you can actually work the exercise. What do I, what can I start doing? Wonderful. Let's go to the next question. What can I stop doing to support me getting the outcome I seek? What can I stop doing? Again, hit pause so you get fully you can fully think through the uh, brainstormed options. And now let's go to the third question. What will I continue to do? to help me produce the outcomes that I'm looking for and get the results that I want. What is it that I can continue doing? Again, hit pause so you can complete the questions. Terrific. Let the ideas, we're in a brainstorm, let the ideas just you know simmer here for a little bit. We are gonna look at trying a couple of these on. So I'd like you to pick one, one thing from any one of the three lists. It can be something from the stop, something from the start, or something from the continue list that you will put into action within the next 24 hours. And there's a spot for you to commit for that right on the, on the tier tool. Terrific. Actually, if you've been following along, and I hope you have, not only should you feel more clarity about how to move forward in this scenario, but you should feel more inspired, more engaged, more committed. 
and like you're ready to act. And I hope you are. So thanks for working on the clarity sheet with me and on the clarity exercise. We hope you enjoy this tool. And remember, in the resource circle, there are many more tools just like this. So feel free to follow the links below. Ask me any questions. Let me know how the tool worked for you. Let me know if you're still stuck. We're happy to support you that way. And thanks for being a member of the Tierra Resource Circle.